Hi everyone, welcome. It's Divine Mercy Sunday and uh, my brother Nathan and I just wanted to invite you into one of our family traditions. Uh, typically on Divine Mercy Sunday uh, we get together as a family somewhere and host a Divine Mercy service and obviously we're not able to do that in the same way this year uh, but we didn't want to let that tradition go. So we decided to put out a little recording uh, so that our family would be able to pray together today and thought, hey, well, maybe others might want to join us in prayer as well. So, um, yeah, so we just invite you to, to pray with us. This is such a beautiful, beautiful feast where Jesus just invites us to encounter him in an intimate way, to meet him in his mercy, to experience his mercy. And so we just pray that uh, if you're listening, that the Holy Spirit would come to you meet you where you are and that you would know his mercy in a deep and intimate way. We're just going to begin with a couple of worship songs. Springing 
Jesus, we just invite you to come. We invite you to come and to be with us now, wherever we are. Come and meet us in our hearts and in our homes. Lord God, we just ask for your mercy to roll upon us. That we would know in a new and deeper way the depth of your love for us. A reading from the Gospel of John. When it was evening on that day, the first day of the week, and the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. But Thomas, who was called the twin, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger in the mark of his nails, and my hand in his side, I will not believe. A week later, his disciples were again in the house, and Thomas was with them. Although the doors were shut, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands. Reach out your hand and put it in my side. Do not doubt, but believe. Thomas answered him, my Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have come to believe. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written so that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that through believing, you may have life in his name. I was so struck by this gospel as I was reading it today and particularly just even that very first passage where they're describing the scene of the di disciples all sitting locked in their homes for fear of the Jews. And I felt like we could have just replaced that line and said, and all the disciples were locked in their homes for fear of the virus, right? I think for a lot of us, you know, we're feeling this sense of isolation. We're starting to feel that sense of being locked in in, in a way. Um, and we're afraid because we don't know. And the disciples felt that same fear because they did not know. And yet Jesus breaks through the door. He breaks through their fear and he comes among them. And his words are, peace be with you. I just feel like today on Divine Mercy Sunday, Divine Mercy Sunday is an invitation. It's an invitation from Jesus 
to allow him to come close, to come among us, to come into our homes, to come beyond our fear, and to meet us exactly where we are at, and to be with us, and to bring the peace that we desperately need. And so my prayer as we, as we sing the, the Divine Mercy Chaplet and as we reflect on the words of St. Faustina is just that we would open our hearts more to allow Jesus to come past our fears, to come past the unknown, and to meet us exactly where we are at, and to breathe the Holy Spirit into our homes, into our lives, into our hearts, and that we would be ready to receive him. And if you've clicked on this video and you know you don't even know if you believe in Jesus today, I just invite you at any moment, the Lord saw Thomas, the Lord saw Thomas in his doubt. The Lord saw Thomas needing desperately something to cling to, some proof to know that it was the Lord. I just invite you to make Thomas's request and say, Lord, I need to see you. I need to know you. Just put that plea out and ask him to come to you, to come and be with you today. So we're just going to take some time now. We're going we're gonna to sing the Divine Mercy Chaplet. And um, we have some reflections from the Diary of St. Faustina. And we'll just we'll reflect on one of those um, passages for each of the decades. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, Amen. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who is conceived, conceived by the Holy Spirit and born, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, Pilate was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Amen. O Jesus, eternal truth, our life, I call upon you and I beg your mercy for poor sinners. O sweetest heart of my Lord, full of pity and unfathomable mercy. I plead with you for poor sinners. O most sacred heart, fount of mercy, from which gush forth rays of inconceivable graces upon the entire human race, I beg of your light for poor sinners. O Jesus, be merciful of your own bitter passion, and do not permit the loss of souls redeemed at so dear a price of your most precious blood. Eternal Father, I offer you Of 
with sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the His sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sweet Jesus, set on fire my love for you, and transform me into yourself. Divinize me, that my deeds may be pleasing to you. May this be accomplished by the power of the Holy Communion, which I receive daily. Oh, how greatly I desire to be wholly transformed into you, O Lord. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and the blood, soul and divinity. Sora.
desire the glory of your mercy for me. Bitterness and suffering. When I see the glory of your mercy, I am immeasurably happy. Let all disgrace, humiliation, and abasement come down upon me as long as the glory and praise of your mercy resounds everywhere. That's all that matters. Eternal Father, I offer you the body
of His sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of His sorrowful passion. Have mercy. encourages me to converse with you. Your mercy abolishes the chasm which separates the Creator from the creature. To converse with you, O Lord, is the delight of my heart. In you I find everything that my heart could desire. Here your light illumines my mind enabling it to know you more and more deeply. Here streams of grace flow down upon my heart. Here my soul draws eternal life. O oh, my Lord and Creator, you alone beyond all these gifts give your own self to me and unite yourself intimately with your miserable creature. Here, without searching for words, our hearts understand each other. Here, no one is able to interrupt our conversation. When I talk, what I talk to you about Jesus is our secret, which creatures shall not know and angels dare not ask about. These are secret acts of forgiveness known only to Jesus and me. This is the mystery of his mercy, which embraces each soul separately. For this incomprehensible goodness of yours, I adore you, O Lord and Creator, with all my heart and all my soul, and although my worship is so little and poor, I am at peace because I know that you know it is sincere 
however inadequate. Eternal Father, I offer you Jesus, I beg you on behalf of the whole church, grant it love and the light of your spirit, and live power to the words of, and give power to the words of priests, so hardened hearts might be brought to repentance and return to you. O oh Lord. Give us holy priests. You yourself maintain them in holiness. O divine and great high priest, may the power of your mercy accompany them everywhere and protect them from the devil's traps and snares, which are continually being set for the souls of priests. May the power of your mercy, O Lord, shelter and bring to naught all that might tarnish the
the sanctity of priests, for you can do all things. Eternal Father, I offer you Saint John Paul II, pray for us. Saint Michael, 
be our angel. Defend us in this day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. You want to praise the Lord? All right. <laughs> Let's close with praise. Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.